and pen. Um, forgive my setup. I'm not a professional by any means. I'm just a crafter who I'm going to show you better ways to do things. This is a better way to do things. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's a game changer. This pin pen saves me so much time. So I'm going to start out. This is um, all Caesar HTV. Um, we'll go ahead and take this to the side. Take these to the side. We'll do the biggest piece first. Uh, don't mind my transfer tape. That's, I don't know, that's how I, that's part of what I do when I weed. I, that's what I use to take the extra little pieces to stick to. Um, so the first thing that I always do is I always, uh, start it off with, um, you know, my little, whatever this is, my little cricket piece, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to strip this all apart. It's harder to do this on, I'm actually going to take this up to the top to do it because it's harder to do that on camera. I can't get my arms around it. So I'm going to take all the large pieces off and... This, um, the plant is something that a friend of mine who is a designer recently designed and, oops, and, um, it is not listed yet on design bundles. By the time most people see this video, it will be. This is, oops, it's going to be going up over the next couple of days. I believe she's going to put it up. So, take that to the side. You can see the beginnings of what I've done here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with my pin pen. And you can see, not super in focus. It's not, um, it's not like you would expect just like a pin stuck in a pen to be, because it's not what it is. Do you see how it's kind of tapered? So what ends up happening is when you stick the piece in, can you see that? Okay, so stick it in there, and it just comes up like magic. So stick it in there, comes up like magic. And now you're going to see this, you see that little tiny strip? Can you imagine trying to do that with a regular weeder? This is usually much easier, but again, I'm I'm trying to go around. So it started it off. I'm trying to like work around a tripod here. So, but you can see that I was able to stick that right in there and pull that off of there. Okay, so another little tiny piece right here. Get that started. Get that right out of there. And this is gonna look so good when it's done. So I'm going to go ahead, get that started, get that out of there. And I'm telling you, without without the pin pen, a lot of these projects that I do, or that I've done recently, I wouldn't even try. I never used to like weeding. I used to, especially on like 651 or any kind of self-adhesive, I hated it. Because you know how the, all those little pieces come up? And the pin pen, I don't know how to explain it, but it just... It just stops that, and obviously HTV is a little bit different. You don't, you know, you don't have to deal with the pieces coming up as much. Um, but these little tiny pieces, it would be almost impossible to pop those out of there without destroying the HTV uh, without the pin pen. It just makes things easier. Do you see how I can get right up under there and just? I wish I didn't have to have this tripod. It would be so much easier, and you'd be able to see exactly what it does. But anyways, I mean, you you, you get the feel for it. So, oops. try to start it on the larger pieces, start it out by the edge. Um, you have a, a different type of traction with the pin pen. But look at that, look at those little tiny pieces I was able to get out of there. Show you from the front. 
kind of looks so good. Put it more so you can see it. That little, what, what you see over here that I'm putting my scraps onto, that's what I do with old pieces of transfer tape. I use them as, uh, like a little reservoir to hold all of my weeded away pieces. This font is called Sherman. It's by On The Spot Studios. And I love it. I just got it. It's actually, it's a trio. It's got um, an inline version, which is like like an outline almost. And then it's got a solid version. I'm not sure what the third one is. This might actually be the third one right here that I'm working with. Because I don't think this is the full inline. But again, like I said, I just got it. I, who knows, I might be wrong. So, eek, I'm so excited about this. This is something I've actually, um, I've been waiting on this, uh, the, the plant design, um, for it to be finished. She's such an incredible designer. Uh, she's actually got, there's going to be, there's, when the set is done, there's actually three plants and they are all absolutely beautiful. This is the first of the three. I'm just testing it. So... So yeah, I am all about um, making things as easy as possible. I mean, you know how it goes when when we craft. At least most of us, it seems like it seems like we always have limited time, and you know, there's always other things that need to be done, and. I like things that make my crafting more enjoyable. Like this pin pen. It makes things so much easier. Like this right now, seriously, like I'm enjoying weeding this. That is not generally the case. Look at that. Eek. I love it. Those ornaments. Um, this right here. This right here. And you'll see, when I'm done, you'll see a couple more ornaments. They came from a font called Amistary. I never really know if I say that right or not. Uh, but it is one of my all-time favorite fonts. Amistary has um, Amistary Script, Amistary Hand, and Amistary Ornaments. Those are in the ornaments. Um, Amistary Hand is an, just a great sans serif. It has... Um, it just pairs so well with everything, and I am terrible at pairing. So it's always nice to have, you know, a couple go-to sans serifs that that you can match up with things and other fonts, and you know, know that most of the time it's gonna look good. So when I'm with a pin pen, when I am weeding uh, a self adhesive or a 651, I just stick it right to my finger. I pop it off and I put it right on my finger, and it, it goes so fast. So. And then, just so you know, I've only had this pin pen for weeks, maybe a month at, at max. And, like, it seriously has just, it's such a game changer. It just makes everything easier. Do you see how easy these pieces are just popping out of here? Like, there's no, there's no messing around trying to, you know, shimmy them out with a... Uh, uh, um, the regular Cricut tool or you know, dental picks or whatever, whatever it is, tweezers, you know, whatever you're using, it's just so much easier. Like I said, so you kind of grab it right down by, see how I'm grabbing it right by the corner of the cut? I don't know if you can see where that cut is, but I'm grabbing it right by the corner of it because then it comes up the easiest. But do you see how it like, like you would think a pin, you would think that it would just stick in there and then when you pulled it out that it would, the, the piece would pull out of the pin and it doesn't. They call it air release. I don't know exactly what that means, but I think it has something to do with the tapering. Because the way that it's taped, 
So when it, when it comes off, when you pull it off, it's not hard to get off, but it sticks on there. And I think it's a tapering. I think the tapering kind of like grabs it. So this technique that I'm doing here, a lot of you probably saw my, um, the pumpkin shirt that I did the other day and it was fabulous. So the pumpkin shirt, that is the first time that, excuse me, that I, that I tried anything like this. That, um, I tried to put, um, inlaid the glitter. Cause of course we all know you can't lay glitter on top of glitter, right? So, and I, and I love these like Zen tangle kind of these patterns. Like, I love that. That's, I don't know, there's something great about that to me. Um, so, with that, I wanted to come up with a way that I could do it all glitter. Now, I sublimate also, so if I wanted to, I could just take um, white Caesar glitter and um, sublimate the image right on top of it. But the thing about that is, is it, it's, it gives you a cool image. Don't get me wrong, it really does. But it's not, it's not what this does. When I did this the other day, the I did I did like I said a pumpkin and the pumpkin um it had it had the you know like I said like the Zentagle type the same type of lines in it and I did those in black and then I did the pumpkin in orange and I did the stem in green and um just the the way the glitters laid flush that that Caesar glitter laying flush against each other like that like it sparkled twice as much as, and don't get me wrong, Caesar Glitter, it's, Caesar Glitter HTV has got a good solid glitter to it. You can see, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good one, definitely. Um, but with it laying flush next to itself like that, it just made it glitter even more. So anyway, so that's, that's where we are here. This is try number two with it. Um, it, and it takes, it takes time. I mean, you're, you're weeding both ends of it. You'll see when, you know, after I get this done, what I mean. And you're, you're weeding both ends of it, so uh, both the front and the and the inlay. So, you know, it takes time. But I'm telling you, that pumpkin one, I put it up on my personal Facebook. And it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, so it wasn't like tons of people were seeing it as soon as I got it done. And um, within minutes of having it up, I already had my first sale on it. People really, really dig the way it looks. <laughs> you should, I mean... You know, like I said, a lot of you have already seen it, but I mean, you should see the traffic that that the videos that I put up got on it. So, you know, even though it takes a little bit of time, if this is something you want to try, it, I did do a video on how to um, how to make the design. So basically, what you do is you take the design, and you can do it in, in you know pretty much any design program. I personally, I work with uh, Cricut. I work with um, Silhouette, and I work with a uh, Brother Scan and Cut. So, you know, I know all three programs enough. And, you know, I do a lot with Inkscape. And uh, me personally, my, my preference is actually Corel Draw and a little bit in Photoshop. Um, but anyway, so, so basically what you do... Do you see how easy this is coming along? Oh my goodness. Did I mention that I love my pin pen? So, um, and the pin pen, I will link it in the, um, the notes for the video. I'll link it underneath where you can get it. So you can get it at, uh, 651vinyl.com. Are you seeing how fast this is coming along? So, when you are building one of these patterns, what you do, basically, like I said, there's a video on it. If you, if you search my channel, my channel is Spectrum Weavers. And if you search it, you'll see the video on it. It's called, like, Best Pumpkin Shirt Tutorial or something like that. Oh my goodness, I'm done already. Look at that. I'm done. Look how easy that was. I'll show you the other. Well, we got to start on the other side now. This is obviously upside down and just for save myself some vinyl when I was cutting it. Um, 
So let's do that. This is um, beautiful. This is Caesar Silver Confetti. It is one of my all-time favorites. It's so pretty. I usually take scissors and cut around my design before I weed it the best I can, at least, because I hate to waste. I hate to waste HTV, um, especially glitter HTV. But with this one, it's it is really really difficult to see what you're doing. And I know people say put baby powder on it and all that type of stuff. I don't know. To me, it seems like you do that and you're gonna break your bond. So I don't bother with it. I just kind of look at that. Isn't that pretty? But look. Uh, it's not even going to take any extra work. It's just going to come right off there. That is excellent. I love my pin pen, but you know what I love even more? Not having to weed anything. Okay, look how pretty that is. Okay. So, that's that. Now this, I'll save that. Just purely because I am... I've, I've never actually tried it. I have a box full of it. <laughs> but uh, I'm pretty sure that what I can do with that is I'm pretty sure that I can take it and um, just throw it onto some backing after I press it. Who knows if that's true. So anyways, um, that's that. I'll put this to the side. Um, so back to what I was saying about how you do these patterns. Um, what you do is you take and you... Um, take the pattern that you buy and you upload the pattern to your program. And then if you have a grid on your program, get rid of the grid and, um, that's a little snail, uh, get rid of the grid and then screenshot, uh, I'm a PC user, so I can't tell you how to do it on a Mac, but on a PC on Windows 10, you go to your Windows menu and you click on, um, this is our last piece, this is our plant. So on your Windows menu, you click on uh, your start menu, type in snip, snipping tool will come up. And this, I should have cut this around first and I didn't, but it will. The snipping tool is what your screenshot is and you can just draw a box around you go to file, after you click on snipping tool, a box will come up and you go to file and you, um, oh, look at that. It's going to all come right up. This is going to be so easy. You go to file and you go to new and then you draw a box around what you're trying to snip and then, um, sorry, I don't want to mess this up. And then you go to file and you go to save and just save it as something you'll remember it as. And then you just go and you upload it back into your program. And depending on which program you're using, you either clean it up or you trace the the silhouette of your image and just the outside of it. So then you have your silhouette and you have your original design. You lay your original design over the silhouette, select both, and you slice or subtract it out. So then you have this inside part of the plant and you have the outside was the original design. So um, we're done. So I just want to show you, sorry, I have this giant mess here. I just want to show you how this is all going to look like laid all together. I wish I had more space. I know most of us do. So, put all these little scraps. Let me just show you all the pieces. That's piece one. And that's piece two. Piece three and piece four. Listen, can you believe that that, that all got done so quickly? I know I've kind of been talking the whole time. So maybe it didn't seem as quick to you, but it was so quick. Okay. I know this isn't the best way to view what it's going to look like when it's done. After I press it, I'll take a video of it. This is going on a shirt. This is, this is kind of difficult to line it up this way. So this will all this will all be inlaid, and it'll all okay. I'm almost done here. Um, it'll all lay down together, and it's gonna be so pretty. And then you, I don't know if you can read it or not. It's all upside down, but that'll all get cut out, and that's gonna say plant lady.
can't see how sparkly it is, but it is going to be spectacular. So when it's all done, I'll take a picture of it. But that is how the pin pen has worked. Oh, and I missed a little piece right here. But that's okay. I'll pop that out. And with my pin pen, it'll take no time. All right, have a good day. Subscribe to my videos. I'm going to make a whole bunch of new ones on um, ways to simplify things with Inkscape and um, just all, all the tools that I use to make better designs. I'm very lucky that I have um, access to a lot of really great designers and um, that's it. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.